what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i know i know i know i went on a rant there in my review if you guys have watched it and you know i talked about some things that i don't you know always talk about on the channel but i usually do when it's presented i usually talk talk about certain things you know what i'm saying and it really touched a nerve with me of the reasons behind why I don't believe in certain things and why I'm against certain things in life and it, it it's just you know what I'm saying and I know a lot of people is gonna be oh you were fine when they were killing everybody else <laughs> I'm saying in the context of the show these people just wanted a better life you know what I'm saying it's just it's just the rebuttal the rebuttal of it all is just so harsh bro the hanging you know what I'm saying? And it could just be because I have an emotional connection to, you know, the connection, the, 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 these characters, you know, you know, Vane, Flint, um, John. It could just be because of that. But at the same time, when you look at the grand, the grand scheme of things, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the way how they do things, man, the English, the characters, it just, they just go the extra mile. To just do this extra stuff on the way out, they kill people. It's just, you're like, wow. Man, the kind of mind you gotta have. To think of a punishment like that to torture someone to death. Drag them across the sea floor. Till their, their literal flesh is tearing off of them. I mean, bruh, bruh, let's go watch the episode, <laughs> I will see you guys for the review. Alright, season 4, episode 4. <laughs> Yes, that was a brilliant episode. I want to talk a little bit more about that last scene. I think Flint has something planned. I don't think he's just, you know, going at... Listen, I wouldn't believe, not even for a hot millisecond, I wouldn't believe anything that comes out of Eleanor's mouth. And I think Flint is going along with this to see what happens. You get what I'm saying? And to, he has a plan of his own. Because at least now you got a man close by to be like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least he, he can know what's going on in the fort. And maybe have some sort of plan. And Silver just has to trust that. Or maybe, maybe Flint and Silver has discussed that. Whatever it is, go listen. I'm not going to betray us just so easily. Um, so maybe they had a prior discussion. They just didn't show it now. But that could be something to... I've watched too many TV shows. Just too many scenarios goes through my head. But hey, I could be wrong. One of the other things I want to talk about that happened in this episode is the conversation that I stopped to talk about actually between Maddie and the, old, the other old slave lady. Right? You don't want to have that kind of mentality. If you want to be great, you cannot have that kind of men mentality. Great leaders do not have that kind of mentality. And I'm hope I'm hoping that, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that Maddie doesn't change who she is because I love her character. I love her character. I just don't like when she's whispering in John's ear about, about Flint. Like, <laughs> But, you know, she's kind of with the, the, the stuff now with with flint so we we cool we cool <laughs> you know what i'm saying we cool you know um so the, the other slaves did revolt that was very surprising to me that they actually risen up I'm like it's more of y'all just jump them you know what i'm saying yeah you might lose some people you know what i'm saying you might lose some just jump them you know what i'm saying you know what i mean um so um you know one of the other things that happened in this episode too with Anne. Um, really, if they kill, I'm gonna be mad if they kill Anne's character right now. I don't care when they died. I don't want him to die during the show. They could die, live old and die. Jack and Anne, <laughs> live old and die. Don't, 
please don't kill Anne. They already took out Blackbeard that kind of was becoming one of my, one of my, you know, like, I want to say like top 10 characters in the show. So there's not much to love. There's not many characters to love. I don't think there's 10 characters really um, to love in this show where I can name them off the top of my head. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a solid five. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, man. So the slaves revolted. I was cool, but they not with they not with what Flint and and Maddie is is about. Billy did have an interesting conversation with um, Silver, which is is one of the things that I talk that I talk about in this series that I love. This is the conversations and the dialogue that happen, and that was one of those scenes where I'm just like, why is it that there's nobody ever encouraging these two to to, to be good friends they, they know that they're good friends and instead of saying you know what these two are great leaders let's just get with it if we see that they're going astray and becoming you know dictators or whatever we can always go against that but nobody is seeing this for what it is because they just think flint is just this terrible person they just maybe the reason why israel is kind of drawn to flint is maybe because he can maybe he reminds him of teach i don't know maybe maybe just spitballing here um but it's just so interesting to see the dynamic i'm glad that silver went back to flint and be like hey this is what we discussed you know it took me two hours to come tell you but this is what is happening you know what i'm saying because they've become such good friends and he's and he's telling him it is like i under you know it took me that long because you know i was thinking about it you know what I'm saying? I was really thinking about it if, you know, following you is going to get Maddie hurt or whatever. And then he put the scenario to him, which was very interesting. It's like, you're telling me that if Thomas popped up right now, you wouldn't put down arms to be with to be with Thomas. And Flint gave a very interesting answer, even though he didn't answer the question directly. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a kind of a deflection, but he, he, he answered the question without answering it in a way. You get what I'm saying? So there's no d definitive answer that he gave to it, but I do understand where he's coming from. He, he's like, you know, in his mind is like, I believe that if, you know, Thomas would want me to complete the mission and get what was supposed to get done in the first place, you know what I'm saying? That he fought for when he was alive, you know? Um, but the thing about it is that you know, in, even though they didn't even mention, that's what's so interesting about that dialogue is like, even though they didn't mention love, the entire conversation was about love. You know what I'm saying? Our loved ones and how, you know, we don't want our loved ones to get killed or somebody that's, you know, really close to us. And that's why in the scene I was saying that Flint can relate about losing someone. You haven't lost that person yet, but Flint has l lost that person twice. He's lost that person because it was, you know what I'm saying? He was bisexual. You know what I'm saying? He was with Miss Barlow and he was with Thomas. And he's been through that twice, my guy. So he can tell you what it's like to lose someone close, close to you and how you can spiral and what you would do. And this is the, 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 the um, when it comes on to Flint's character and being one of the strongest characters in the show. And I'm talking about like mental strength. Flint is that guy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't hop off of his train and be like, oh, he's doing this. He might not be. Listen, great leaders are not always going to make the, the best decisions. And sometimes when they make decisions, it might put some people in danger. You get what I'm saying? It might put people in danger. But sometimes it's what the situation calls for. And it's not always the best decision. It's not always the greatest decision ever. And sometimes the outcome is not what the great leader expects. But sometimes you do have to make those decisions. You do have to get to that place where you're like, I believe that if I make this decision, it is going to work. It doesn't always work out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody hits 100% of their shots. Nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody. Okay? We're not all Steph Curry. <laughs> you know, we're not all Steph Curry into, you know, hitting, what, 300 three-point shots in a row. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, that, that's just 
un human. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not all Steph Curry, okay? <laughs> you know? Um, but it is what it is. But I do love this series so much because it brings up a lot of talking points that you would not normally see in TV series because, you know, not everything is about war, you know, and we've watched some pretty gruesome stuff on it on, on this channel. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about Band of Brothers. That brings up some serious topics. You know what I'm saying? The Pacific. Those are some just some great series, you know, that I would recommend to anyone to watch because those series really they're thought provoking. But this series, the dialogue, man. And I'm hoping that um, with the governor returning, I'm hoping that Jack and them is not far behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope they're like gonna ambush them in the water or something but they're probably going to see them coming regardless but as i said i don't believe eleanor is telling the truth i think she concocted some plan with max also and i think this is part of it i don't think i listen when you're so cocky to the point where you're you're like oh i'm just gonna present this to them hey, they, they'll save their men at all costs you know what i'm saying and and all that that is what is going to be their downfall and i think i think some way somehow they're going to take back this fort you get what i'm saying so here we go anyways guys that's all i have to say interesting bomb ass episode thank you guys so much for tuning in as always leave a like on the video leave a comment <laughs> and i will catch you guys later man peace